Well, hello everybody. Um, welcome back to the, the channel and uh, <laughs> this week's video. So um, I wanted to talk a little bit about store and forward. Um, but, um, you know, uh, mestastic store and forward. But before you get super excited about the concept of store and forward, which the main concept is, um, hey, I'm out of range with my mestastic node. When I get back in range, I can catch up all the messages that I missed. Wouldn't that be great? But before you get super excited about that concept, um, there are a few things to know. First of all, um, it only works on a, uh, you know, a, 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 it doesn't work on the public, um, on the public uh, uh, channels. It only works on a private channel, first of all. And then second of all, this store and forward server needs to be a very specific device or a device with PS RAM, not to be confused with flash memory, you know, all, all of these devices have flash memory, but the device, and I have one here, it's a um, Lilygo uh, T-Beam Supreme or something, and that has got this PS RAM in it, which is 8 megabytes in this case, and that is memory that, the, you know, a Mestastic app can use in runtime to store things and update things. Um, you know, the flash is one thing, but it also has... So there's a few devices that support that, and this is one of them. So, um, it doesn't work on, on public channels, only works on private uh, channels, and you have to have a specific device. So if we look at the PC uh, uh, um, quickly here, right, if we look at the PC then, um, if I wanted to explain uh, Mestastic store and forward, I would say, in the world, there's this public mesh. And this is the default for your device. When you turn it on, or, or when you first configure it, there's um, this thing called a frequency slot. And it can be zero, which means you're saying, uh, um, and that's under the, the LoRa uh, configuration. But there's a frequency slot, which it tells, um, uh, you know, if it's zero, it says, Mestastic, you manage this for me. But if it's... Uh, you know, the default is 20. So if you put it to zero, it's going to jump to 20. And that would be the default. So that's typically the frequency slot that all mesh, uh, public mesh, uh, uh, tastic networks use. And then I have a default channel called longfast. And I have a default encryption key called AQ equals equals 8-bit. This can be a 16-bit and 128-bit. There can be a, a lot of different keys. But, uh, uh, you know, length of keys. But this is sort of a default. If you configure your device, it's going to be slot 20 on the frequency. It's going to be long fast on the channel, default channel. And it's going to be AQ equals equals for the encryption key of that channel. But um, to now use store and forward, you're going to have to create a private mesh. So, um, and that's what I have here. I have three devices. In the middle, I've got this one I call store and forward. And that, um, you know, is this 80EC node. And um, I had to put them all then. Um, and you'll see what's common here is I put them on a different frequency slot, 31. They're not, uh, of a, the, the default slot is 20. These ones are on 31. That means... Uh, you can create many slots. That means these devices do not know about any other mesh-tastic devices. They are on slot 20. These ones are on slot 31. So in their world, there's only these three devices, uh, mesh-tastic devices in the whole world, is these three. Then I also changed the default channel to and called it Vivsoft, and I changed the key to BQ, equals, equals, just to be funny. But uh, um, still an 8-bit key. But what it means is, uh, like I said, these three devices are now on their own slot 31. But if somebody else had to set up their Mestastic device also on slot 31, he can join our network. Uh, you know, he'll be able to join this network if he's in range. And, uh, but he probably won't have this key, BQ equals equals, or whatever I make it. So he would be able to see the traffic 
but he needs this key to uh, decrypt the traffic. So on that channel. So the, that's a channel key. So this is a pretty secure setup. It has its own frequency slot. So th these three can talk to each other on frequency 31, frequency slot 31. They all three have the same channel and they all three have the same uh, encryption key to decrypt the messages on those channel. I'm going to use this Bluetooth um, Android app over here. I'm sorry, I only have an Android. I'm one of those cheap people, um, uh, 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 but uh, um, that's what I have. Um, and um, of course, these three can talk to each other. So um, if I'm going to go into this first one, let's go into this uh, store and forward node, and it's uh, ATEC, 80EC. If I go into this guy, and um, now you need to be able to see my phone. Let's make sure you can see my phone. Right. Hopefully that's uh, focused. Um, we go into this node, the middle node, the main node. Um, if I look at uh, what it knows about, it only knows about these three uh, nodes in the world because they're all on slot 31. Um, so it knows about the uh, carry node, it knows about the LoRa mesh node, and it knows about itself. So if I go into configuration, radio configuration, under channels, you will see that there's a channel Vivsoft. That's not long fast. That's channel zero, the default channel. And you'll see that the public key is BQ equals equals. So that is uh, 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 the first thing set up, uh, the channel. And then in LoRa, we'll see that this is all the same except for the frequency slot here is 31 and not 20. The default is 20 over here. Or zero, if you set it to zero, Mestastic will manage it for you. But if you want to, the default is 20. So this guy is on 31 uh, 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 frequency slot, and it has its own private channel and its own key. And then I went into, because this is the store and forward server, I went into store and forward configuration, and I said store and forward enabled, heartbeat. So let everybody on this network know that I am a store and forward server. And then, um, you know, it's a server. I marked that. And then I said, um, keep 5,000 records, you know, on 8 megabyte, you can maybe keep, they say, 11,000 messages. So it can keep quite a bit. And, and um, how many messages does it return when I come back up to 25? And how long does it keep it on there in minutes, 240 minutes? So that's this node, the store and forward server node. Um, and keep in mind, again, only certain hardware can do this. Uh, Haltech V3 doesn't work. This is a LilyGo T-Beam Supreme, and that has got this PS RAM, that, so it can do it. So that's my store and forward server. So um, if I uh, were to connect, let's connect to the carry node over here, just to see that one, and it is F8A0. I get so confused with these things because it nowadays it names it whatever it wants to. But um, I go in there, and I'm connecting to this guy now, the carry node. And it also knows only about these three nodes in the world. Um, and it's also configured to be channel zero, same as, uh, uh, you know, there's only one default channel, the soft. So I can talk on here and say, hi. And I can send that message. And... Um, uh, we can see that it's sent, and it is now sent to channel zero, the default channel, Vivsoft. So let's go connect to that guy, which is the LoRa mesh node, and that's 884F. 884F, where is it? I have so many nodes nowadays. 884F, there it is. Uh, 884F, sorry, it's that one. There we go. Let's connect to that guy. So now I'm connecting to that node, the one on the left. And we can see a message that come through. Hi. Again, it only knows about these three nodes in the world because they're all on slot 31. If I go in there, I can see, hey, carry node said hi. Okay, that's cool. 
What I'm going to do now is I am going to turn off carry node. I'm actually going to turn it off to simulate that it is uh, going bye-bye. So it's taking a drive with me somewhere and it's not available. So I'm going to send into this default channel test message. I'm going to send that in there. And now that message is going to be shared between these two nodes only. This node, the carry node, is off, so it's not going to receive a message. So to verify everybody, uh, you know, the, the message is here, let me go connect to this guy again, which is ATEC, sorry, ATEC, uh -huh. where is it? There. Let's go connect to that uh, ATEC. That is the main uh, uh, store and forward server node. Let's go look and we see, ah, oh, there's a message that says, um, if we go look at the messages, we can see, carry node said, hi, this node, Laura message, test message, everything's cool. Now I'm going to turn on the missing node, this carry node. So it comes back into... Um, into range. And it is now at home. It's in range of this private network over here. So let's go connect to it. Let's go back to, and it's uh, F0A8. There we go. Let's go connect back to it, this guy. <coughs> and let's go look at the messages. And the last message it has is hi, that it sent. It knows about no other messages, which is very interesting. This is where store and forward comes in. So how it works in uh, um, Android is I'm going to go and send a private message, a direct message to the store and forward server. So I'm going to direct message it and I'm going to say SF and I'm going to hit the button. So this node is now inquiring the store and forward server. We'll see that it says one mess, miss message, and we can see it starts populating these messages. So if I go back in here into the messages, I can see, oh, there's a new message, test message, which came from here. I, didn't, I wasn't in range when that message was sent, but I now have received that message from the store and forward server. So when I came back in range, I uh, sent a private message to the store and forward server saying SF, and this is only for Android. On, uh, I believe on Apple, um, you can long press on something and say retrieve messages, something to that effect, and it will do the same thing. But on Android, you have to send SF to uh, a private message to this guy, the store and forward server. It's going to say, while you were gone, I see one message, and um, I'm keeping these for 240, and, you know, there's been five. So if I send another SF to it, SF to it, so I'm asking it again, and it's going to say, well, since the last time, um, uh, you know, there's no new messages for you, zero and we've had seven messages exchanged up and down. But, but you've got all the, the latest messages. I've got nothing new for you, zero. So that's how store and forward works. Hopefully that makes sense, um, how store and forward works. Again, with the uh, requirement that it only works on a private network and it only works on specific devices. But, but it is a pretty cool implementation. So um, thank you for watching and uh, we'll speak again uh, soon.